today I have a subscription box. We've got the BAM box, pop culture box. So I'm not 100% sure which one this is because now they're going by like volume number and box number. But this was actually mailed out on May 19th by BAM. So this is their newest BAM box. So it's volume something, box something. That's how they're doing it now. So BAM box is a monthly subscription box. I think it's around like 30 bucks a month if I remember correctly. They just, you know, charge my card every month. It's, it's on file and they just charge it and it's in the box. So I think it's like, like 30 bucks a month. Could be 35. But um, they have a pop culture box and a horror box every single month. This is pop culture. Every single box will include like a exclusive, like a pin. It'll have an autograph 8x10. It'll have usually like a movie prop replica or some kind of something to do with pop culture replica piece of something. There'll be an art print and sometimes something little else. And there can be upgrades in these boxes, which could be a more limited item of the original. And I've had a lot of luck with the upgrades. I usually get the art print upgrade, it seems like. It's always the art print. But, you know, it's still an upgrade. No complaints. Right on top, you have the BAM box paper. Remove that. Feel around a little bit, see what we got. I feel the monthly pin. This thing's heavy. Feels metal, movie prop replica. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's do the pin first. The monthly pin. Let's see, we have, oh, it's, um, was that Yoshi, right? Okay, this is actually volume five, box four. Actually says it on the pin on the bottom over there. So volume five, box four, bam, pop culture box. I haven't played, I think this is Yoshi. I think that sounds right. It might not be right, but I think that's right. And this said uh, this pen does have a limited release on it. If this is the limited one, probably not. But we'll find out. Let's see, next item. Okay, I feel a couple cards in here. Oh, nice. It says one of the items in your box is a variant. So I did get another level up item. So that is exciting. So it says, that means there are fewer made than the regular item. Please check your insert to see which one you got. Box number four, you've been leveled up. So here we go. This has a card in it. This says, BAM Pop Culture Artist Select Card. This is numbered 1,139 on 2,500 made. This one's the Joker. Other side is probably going to be Batman. So you got the, you know, if you want the whole set of these, you have to find somebody who wants to sell you the Batman. Like most of this stuff, honestly, will probably be for sale on my eBay store. Direct link down below to my eBay. I usually keep the 8x10 autograph most of the time and the movie prop replica if it's like freaking awesome. But stuff like this card, I won't sell it because, I mean, I don't have any reason to keep it or collect these, honestly. So that will be for sale. Then it says, your insert is not available. It'll be in the next box, whatever that is. And every single month, we do get a BAM giveaway. You can scratch off on it and see if I want anything. If anybody's won, you can win like PlayStation 4s. You can win, I think, computers. If you're wanting thing from these scratch offs, please comment down below. Let us know what you want. Because I still have not found anybody who was a winner of, of anything. Like, you can win like bonus art prints and stuff. Like, get the match all three symbols. My first symbol is an art print upgrade box. There's no way you'll be able to see it though, but the print's very small on it. So I have to match all three of these to win an art print box. And the middle thing says a free BAM box. And the last one, it says art print upgrade box. So I actually got two out of the three symbols, but did not win. Okay. so. Back to the goodies inside of the box. Let's see what we have. This is like, feels heavy, it feels metal. I'll pull it out next. I have no clue what it is from the back of it. I cannot tell. Front of it. Oh, that's kind of cool. City of Gotham Police Department badge. Okay, this is kind of awesome. It's actually heavy. It's actually nice quality. Okay, that's kind of awesome. There's the inside of the badge. 
Okay, straight up, this is actually kind of awesome. I'm keeping this. This is mine. City of Gotham Police Department, 1820 founder. Okay, let me take it off. Let me show the camera a little bit closer because you're probably dying to see a little bit closer on camera. But this is what it looks like. You cannot tell me that that item is not insanely cool. Even if you're not like like a Batman fan, that's a cool collectible. So like, I I bet you this item right here, I bet it goes for like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. If you sold it, I would not be too surprised because actually this is nice quality. Like the leather, of course it's not real leather. No, it's plastic, but it's, it's kind of pleather. It's, it's actually decent quality, but this badge though, like it's solid metal and it's in, and, and like it's, it's actually heavy. It has weight to it. Like this is not junk. That's actually awesome. This I think is one of the best prop replicas BAM box has ever done. How cool is that? Seriously. That's kind of awesome. I'm keeping this. This is not for sale. Awesome. So here we go. So I'm pretty sure this is not an upgrade. This is not an upgrade. So either the art print or the sign 8x10 is, is an upgrade. So let's find out which one's the upgrade. I'll show the art print first. Is an upgrade. Looks like it is. We got Shredder. We got Charlie Brown. That's interesting. It's number 365 out of 500 made. And I don't really get the art print. What I mean, I don't know if there's been some kind of collaboration between the Turtles and Charlie Brown. And this creature right here, I can't think of what that's from. That's an interesting art print. But it is signed by the artist in actual Sharpie. And it is numbered out of 500. So there's probably one that's out of like 2,500, I bet, or, or probably out of 2,000. So interesting art print, but I don't really understand it. Shredder and Charlie Brown. No idea. One thing left. We have the autograph 8x10 item. Okay. Get a corner of it. I'm going to show you first. Hopefully this autograph is awesome. But actually, no matter what, I'm extremely happy with this. This is a cool, like, prop replica. That's freaking awesome. Here we go. Order of 8 by 10. In 3, in 2, 1. Is it awesome? It might be upside down because the flap is on that side. That might be the correct way to view it. Is it awesome? Um, have I seen this movie? Let me show you again. Some reason I'm looking at it and I'm drawing a complete blank with that. I don't know what that's from. I can't place the scene in. It's probably a movie I've never seen or a TV show probably I've never watched. But the back of it has these has the BAM certificate of authenticity. I read somewhere online I think that BAM is going to start. Um, partnering up with Beckett to, to authenticate stuff. I think I read that online. That could have been a total fabrication. I don't know. But, uh, interesting. No clue. That's the last item in the box. So now, there are no cheat sheets being printed because their printer isn't working right now. So we had to go on to online to find the insert and let's see how good my upgrade was, possibly. Okay, so I clicked on the insert. There's like the web page you're looking at whenever you see it. You kind of have a drop down. You can see all the boxes from, I guess, this year. So I clicked on BAM Pop Culture Volume 5 Box Number 4, and all it says is coming soon. I click on the horror box, same thing. It's coming soon. So without a cheat sheet, um, somebody like me, how am I supposed to know who signed this? And made a cheat sheet would say what the ref or what the reason is to have Charlie Brown and Shredder on the same art print. I just don't understand that. It's kind of strange. So yeah, I have no clue who signed this. Zero clue. All in all, this box, I think this prop replica, a Gotham City police badge, I think is freaking awesome. This made the box worth every dime. So two huge, huge thumbs up 
on this movie prop replica. I think this month they probably put more money into this than anything else. All in all, you killed it this month, so very happy with this box. Bam Pop Culture Horror Box should be coming here pretty soon in the mail. So I'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>